Neil, good morning, Jeff in Vegas. Good morning. How are you? Thank you for joining me today to talk about your new novel, Game Changer. Well, you're very welcome. Happy to talk about it. Happy to be here. Well, I got a copy of your book right here. And uh, I understand it's about a high school football player who gets so many hard tackles, he bounces into another alternate dimension, but no penalty flag? What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he tackles right. And, uh, and he bounces into these alternate dimensions every time he does one of these hard tackles. And it sounds like science fiction, right? And is it something that you kind of try to base in some sort of scientific fact or is it considered pure fantasy? Uh, well, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's science fiction, but at the same time, it's sort of surreal uh, social commentary. Uh, I'm trying to sort of tell stories within the arena of fantasy and science fiction that relate to our real world. Considering the setting, you know, being football, is it something that you're a fan of or how did the idea come about for a Game Changer? The idea actually came about when I was speaking at a school and a student challenged me to come up with a story about football. And I told him, well, if I have a story that lends itself to being a football story, I'd write it. And that night, this idea came to me that kept me up all night. And uh, I sat on it for a number of years because the idea of bouncing into alternate realities was interesting, but it, there was no reason to tell it. But then when I realized that I could have the character bouncing into different realities in which he has to face issues like uh, racism and sexism and homophobia and all of these issues that this, this kid has really never faced before and has, has uh, sort of been always oblivious to, I realized that I could tell uh, a socially relevant story. And that's what excited me about writing it. And what is your style in writing? Is it something you do? You, do you have a certain habit? Do you only do it on a laptop? Do you write it in long form? A specific place you write or time or day? What's your style? I actually write longhand. I love the feeling of pen and paper. Of course, nobody can read my handwriting but me. But uh, I will write a chapter longhand. And then as I enter it into the computer, I will automatically be re rewriting it. And then I'll read it out loud and then rewrite it again. And then I'll go back to the notebook. And it sort of, it, it gives me a uh, uh, variety in writing. It's, you know, I'm not sitting in front of the computer 24 seven. I get, you know, to do different types of things. You know, I was researching you for our interview today. Uh, you're accustomed to working on multiple projects at the same time. Roxy with your son, a graphic novel, Courage to Dream, I'm the Walrus. Is your mind always working such a fast pace that stories are just screaming to get out? The stories are screaming and sometimes I feel I can't get them out fast enough. Uh, and it's, uh, I you know usually what I'll do is I'll juggle various projects. I'll work on a project for say three weeks or a month. And then when I start to burn out on it, I'll switch over to another one and I'll sort of keep going back and forth between projects. And so there's times uh, like this year where a whole lot of them are getting done at the same time. And you've written for the Disney channel, Goosebumps. Is writing for television a different, different type of satisfaction than novel writing? Uh, yes, it's different, but I love both of them. You know, uh, a script is just a blueprint for a TV show or a movie, but, uh, but a book, you know, that's the, the completed project, project and product. So uh, when I write a book, it's, uh, I know that it's going to get out there and reach an audience. You know, when you write a script, you hope that it will, but there's no guarantee that it will. And your style of writing and your, your aim is reaching a young audience. How's that demographic changed over the years? You know, kids are kids are kids. And uh, I, I think that as much as things change, you know, with social media and technology, kids are, are basically the same. I mean, there's the same issues that, uh, that they're addressing. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's more intense now because, because of how everyone is so connected, but there's still the same basic issues and the same uh, needs that, uh, that kids have and questions that they have about the world. Well, Neil, I just got the book yesterday, so I can't wait to read it. You know, in times of COVID, I need something new to, to explore. And when things get safer, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. I'd love to go. Thanks, Neil. Good luck with the book. Thank you very much.